Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings. Today we will be looking at the week of August the 5th to August the 11th. And before we have a look at the individual star signs, we are having a look at the overall energy of the week ahead. So the overall energy for all of us this week is to actually step back from everything. Really step back and reflect. And also you have, um, or we have, <laughs> because it's for all of us. It's important to not be stressed this week about finances. Just let us all hang back, so to speak, detach from, from, from the stresses of life this week. And you have the coyote as one of your spirit animal guides, which is um, a scavenger. So the idea about that animal guide is that no matter what happens, there will always be enough for you to go around. So if you have worries about not being able to sustain yourself, um, not making it, failing somehow, the guides are saying is no. This week, you just step back from everything. You have a, a good look at what's going on without stressing about it and trust, have faith that there will always be enough for you to go around and that you will be sustained. So that's the overall energy uh, for all of us this week. And now we're starting with the um, star sign of Leo going into the first star sign reading. For Leos, it's quite eager, quite eager, quite quite easy. This week feels simple because opportunities and answers will come to you. Really, really important. You can be quiet. You can be steadfast. You can trust that things will work because they will work, um, and you see opportunities, not only do opportunities come to you, but you also see them coming. In other words, whatever life throws at you, you can instantly, instantaneously get, a, get an idea, this sounds right, this one doesn't feel quite so good to me, and then really trust your intuition and um, you will be fine. It's really short and sweet uh, for, for Leo this week, and then now we're going into Virgo. Okay, whatever is going on in your life, that's for the Virgos out there, there is healing that sits right here where the sternum is. The sternum is the place where rejection sits a lot. And all the guides are saying is, your guides are around you big time this week, but they're asking you to allow yourself to cry this out, um, let it go, whatever you need to do that can trigger um, a release of emotion is needed this week for Virgo. Okie dokie, right, going into Libra. Libras, if you are yourself this week, if you are truly following who you are and truly um, taking into account what, what you want to do with your life, um, you will be fully protected, right? So if you are in a situation where you feel like this isn't quite me, this doesn't quite make sense, you know, I have to do all that shit, um, but it doesn't bring me any happiness. Well, what the guides are saying is assess, reflect, um, about or, or, or about the things that you really feel are you and then um, manifest them and put them into action because what the guides are saying is uh, once you're also honest about it that you know wherever you are in life and it might not actually just be work related it could also be relationship related as long as you're honest about it a solution can be found and you will be safe because you have to, one of the animal guides that you have here 
is the spider. So in your web of life, where you decide how many space, how much space and how much time you give people, all the guides are saying is figure out if you are happy where you are, if not, trust that things will get, will get better, manifest that, and you will be perfectly fine. Okay, don't take most deep rock going into Scorpio. Scorpio, whatever situation you're in that feels difficult, what you need, and it's not just this week because <laughs> this is about um, uh, this is about this week, but it's about long term. It's about something that is going on that might not be fixed so easily. All the guys are saying to you is what you need to have right now is patience. And at the end of this patience, when you just say, you know what, I, I, I go with the flow, whatever happens, happens, you will actually get to a point where not only um, things will be uh, manageable, but um, where things will, the, 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 um, the, 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 the end thing, whatever you have to be patient for, will mean that it will be a new beginning, a new start, and you will actually feel rewarded for um, being so patient to begin with. All right, for Scorpio, going into Sagittarius. Here we go. Interesting, this is Sagittarius now, and um, you have probably noticed this for the people who don't just look for their star sign, but, you know, manage to listen to everything here. You will probably have noticed in, in all the um, the readings um, that I do here, um, there's oftentimes um, overlapping energy, even though everybody has a star sign and we're all individuals within it, and then there is certain traits within the um, star signs. Nonetheless, there's an overall theme that seems to happen each week, which also is great because then people uh, from different star signs can obviously uh, support each other. So for Sagittarius this week, um, this is your week to realize, and it sounds a bit egotistical, but this is the week where you realize, you know what, I am awesome. So if you don't believe it, you know, repeat after me, I'm awesome. I even have this piece of wood here that says, I'm awesome, I'm awesome. And it says it on the other side too, I'm awesome. So if you struggle, say to yourself, I'm awesome. So this is the week for you to realize that you are awesome. And that doesn't mean you're egotistic about it and you think you're the best thing since sliced bread. But if you start to um, trust and believe that you are actually a good person and that sometimes, you know, it's, it's reality, Bad things happen to good people, you know, when the shit hits the fan, you might just be in front of it, if that makes sense. These things happen. And sometimes, uh, oftentimes, it's just nobody, it's just not your fault, if that makes sense. All the guides are saying is, for um, Sagittarius this week, is to remember that you're awesome. Use it as a mantra, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, which, is, which translates into, I can do this. I can absolutely do this. I can get through everything. And that's what they're basically asking you, is to um, be affirmative um, in positivity and you will get through that. Okay, that was Sagittarius going into Capricorn, drawing to the deck over here. Capricorn. Capricorn. I love coffee. Very, very, very. Where is Capricorn? Capricorn's really important. If you are in a situation where you are being met by um, dishonesty, it is so destroying for you. For Capricorn, you have um, what they're asking you to do, what the guys are asking you to do is no longer to give people second chances when you clearly can tell that they're not honest, they're not truthful. 
This is the week to not rebel, but to realize that you have uh, enough skills uh, in your life to um, make it on your own, really, if, if needs be. But what they're lying, what they're asking to you is don't be lied to. Because that energy that hits you then, that people deliberately deceive you, you know, um, can be soul destroying simply because you're, you're so deep, right? So that's what they're saying to you. Make sure you're not being lied to and, and stop that. Right? Make sure that you don't let these people get away with it. With it. What they are, they're not asking you to fight them. What they're asking you to realize that sometimes you allow them to keep lying to you because you're so forgiving. And all the guides are saying is this has to come to an end. Right? That was Capricorn going into Aquarius. Aquarius. And obviously, remember, we're looking at the week of August the 5th to the 11th. 2019 and here we are Aquarius okay your guides are trying to reach you right even if you are someone who does a lot of meditation calming techniques um, energetically speaking for Aquariuses a lot of you out there who are Aquariuses are preoccupied with stuff could be work related just normal day-to-day -day activity and stress and um, so in other words what the guides are saying is your guides your own guides are actually trying to reach you in your dreams. It is oftentimes um, very difficult to remember dreams because we're moving to a different um, uh, frequency of our brain, like a brain pattern that, that, that um, uh, changes to what is called beta waves, which means we don't retain that much energy uh, uh, and, and that much memory, sorry, uh, the next day. Here's how, how you can um, not fix this, but help it. Um, you, you take a piece of paper which becomes your dream journal and you promise yourself that when I get up in the morning, the first thing I remember about my dream, I'm going to write down. Even if it is just a phrase or an image. And you write that down and you do this for about seven days. And then look what you've written. And over time you can see a pattern. And this pattern obviously is a message. All the guides are saying is they have difficulties reaching you because you're you're preoccupied you also um, need to well i say need to it's not meant like this you have free will but what the guy's asking you to do is if you um, negotiate through life um, don't get annoyed don't get angry um, don't get upset use what is what i would refer to uh, as tongue in cheek so what you do is you speak your truth but in a way that is uh, that feels light-hearted and that feels it's all right to talk about it because the way you bring it up is not threatening to whoever you talk to and remember people who are very narcissistic and um, you know think uh, they can do whatever the heck they want um, obviously get threatened easily so if you are in a situation that needs changing um, and you want to address it address it with tongue-in-cheek address it light-heartedly um, rather than, than confrontational, okay? Really, really important. Um, so there was Aquarius going into Pisces. My star sign. <laughs> I'm always looking forward to, to hearing what the guides have to say about Pisces. You know? And I think you all are the same. I know people that say like, oh, why don't you time them you know there's this thing on, on, on youtube where you basically go into the star signs or whatever you listen to like, oh that star sign starts at 10 minutes so i i put a link there so people don't have to go through it hey this is a free video i'm not gonna go through it and go like okay you know i have to find all the star signs find them yourself <laughs> right anyway here we are with pisces interesting we have the mouse and the kid fox what that really means for all of us pisces out there is we see the world exactly the way it is. It's very difficult for people to fool us for, for a long time, if that makes sense. So if, Pisces, you have a perception of a situation, trust your intuition because the way you perceive it, the way you get it, that's, that's the way it is. We will this week feel a little bit... Um, boxed in we will feel a bit, little bit restricted in what we can do so high energies energy wise it's not going to be a high energy week 
for Pisces. So, um, and all they're saying is, right, you see the world for exactly as it is. So just this week, because your energy isn't so high, um, just reflect on it. In other words, um, we are quite vulnerable still. And, um, and the feeling that I get, uh, and it's probably, probably because I am a Pisces, is that this vulnerability, this feeling, I've had, I've had enough, I'm just not um, recovering from, from things, will stay with us probably for the rest of the month, because the energy I get for Pisces being one, uh, myself, is that, um, and this is just the energy the guides are giving me, um, things will actually get better starting in September. Right? That doesn't mean August is going to be a shitty month. All I'm saying is, right, uh, don't expect things to go like, yeah, and stuff. That's all they're saying is, right? So trust that the way you see the world or, or situations that come to you is exactly the way they are, right? Okay, that was Pisces going into Aries. Okay, Aries is quite short because all the guides are saying is you are fully protected on each side. I don't know if you have heard of the St. Michael's grid. The St. Michael's grid is I ask uh, you, Lord Michael or Archangel Michael, to protect me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below and in the center. That's the St. Michael's grid where you get sevenfold protection and somehow for, for uh, Aries, that's what I'm getting. I ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. You say this seven times, because seven times, seven for protection. You say this seven times and you will feel fully protected. All the guides are saying is, we're there. We're everywhere. We're around, we're around you. Because here's what I'm getting for Aries. And um, if you are in a situation where you feel the best option would be to not just retreat, but to leave, that's what I'm getting where the guides are saying is, yes, again, your perception is correct, even though it's Aries now, we had that just with Pisces, um, and if you feel that this must come to an end, all the guides are saying is, it may not be easy, or this, right, but um, we are there, so that's the, that's the message for Aries, but remember, there is a St. Michael's grid that is really powerful and it goes like I ask you, Archangel Michael, right? and, then, and then you say like I ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below and in the center. You say this a couple of times and um, you will actually feel empowered by it. Really, really important. Okay, that was Aries and now we're going into Taurus. Tauruses. Um, what can I phrase this best? You have the bear and the elephant. The bear is all about femininity. It's all about you are softer side if you're a bloke. You know, <laughs> really, what it really means is that that whatever sits inside you that hasn't been shifted um, is about to shift. If that makes sense. So this might not be the easiest of weeks. For, uh, for Tauruses. But what they're saying to you is, one of the problems that you have um, is that you remember everything. And so, therefore, uh, most Tauruses, at least this week, will probably have a problem with trust, right? You, you remember stuff, so you're trying to protect yourself from this happening again, whatever this is. And all the guides are saying is, sometimes um, you overthinking, you expecting the worst, can actually make that happen, if that makes sense. So, in other words, heal, right? Be kind to yourself, be gentle, be, be in your softer, be softer this week, right? Though, there's no point arguing with people because sometimes people argue uh, because that's the only thing they can do well, <laughs> if that makes sense. And don't, don't give them the ammunition they need, right? Really, really important. And, and, and as you, reflect on, on, on yourself and as you go into your softer side for Tauruses, it's important to remember 
that even though trust uh, uh, has to be earned, that's absolutely true, what the guides are saying is you overthinking, uh, trying to protect yourself from certain things might not work. Um, so, so we manifest. Um, remember, you, 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 um, you uh, attract on your energy. When your energy is doubtful, um, oftentimes you get uh, people sent that uh, trigger this until you realize, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> you know, uh, I have other options here and I will make sure that I'm not going to end up in that same situation ever again, which again then triggers healing, right? So that's really what this is for Taurus this week. Going into Gemini, and we're almost done. We have Gemini and then Cancer, and that's the um, energy done for the week. Energy and star sign reading. I ask you all to please share this widely. You know, there's no point me recording all this and then nobody bothers to share it. Really, really important. And I'm really grateful because oftentimes people share it and then people from the other side of the of, of, of the earth uh, contact me and, 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 and say thank you for that mini reading uh, because it did help them. And that's what, you know, a, a free reading or mini reading, as I call them, is about, right? So we're going into Gemini. Okay, Gemini, don't let anyone fool you this week. It's all swearing a lot today, but it's all bullshit. That people make you believe you can't do this and you're not good at this. Screw them. You are not what people think they are. They are what they think you are, if that makes sense, right? So what they're saying to you is look around you and identify the people and the situations that make you feel a failure that make you feel doubtful about your own abilities, right? And then either let them go or put boundaries in place because that's really what is needed this week is for you to to um to really to state that you you've had enough of um, being um, looked at it looked at as as a failure or or um, when people make you feel as if you are a failure. You know, sometimes when people say that long enough, you actually believe it. And all the guides are saying is, remember one thing, you have a lot of stamina. You have a lot of strengths too. And so um, if you look at your inner strengths and your own strengths, it doesn't matter what people say to you, right? You're not what they say you are, right? Okay, that's just Gemini, last star sign uh, for the week is Cancer. Let's have a look at Cancerians. Okay, <laughs> you have the turtle and the panther. Um, quite interesting because they're quite opposing in their energy field. Okay, obviously what they're saying to you is stop rushing. Stop rushing into things just because you, you feel, I don't know, maybe you feel you need some, some safety, maybe you you, I don't know what, is, what, what, what they're really trying to say here. It's just giving me the feeling that sometimes um, you're just rushing into things. And all the guides are saying is, you need to take time. Take time. And uh, that's what the turtle is for. You have the turtle and the panther. So the idea is, is the, 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 the slower pace, the, the slower you pace yourself, the easier it is for you to reflect on what you deserve, um, how much damage it can cause you when you actually rush from one situation into the next, if that makes sense, right? Learn to be patient uh, with yourself and kind to yourself because the problem that the guys have is this. Um, because you're not slowing down enough um, and you're just, you know, following a patterns, if that makes sense. They're doing this, which is patterns. So um, you're following patterns that, that uh, actually don't... Uh, quite work for you, um, you're still hiding your, your full inner um, emotions and your full inner gifts, if that makes sense, because you're constantly adapting to uh, other people's energy. And so what the guides are saying is, if you just step back, right, and go slow, you can actually then heal better. So the pattern, and I have to say, uh, it feels to me as a, as a bit of an unfortunate pattern for Cancerians. Um, 
the pattern that they're showing me here um, in a way is that sometimes it is easier to just continue on than to sit there and heal. Right? So what the guides are saying is don't be afraid of healing. You know, it, it, it's called the concept of the wounded healer. It doesn't matter how good you are at what you're doing. There will still be times where you fall apart. And you know what? It is perfectly okay to fall apart because we all do. Right? So that was um, Cancer, last star sign of the week. Um, we are looking at the week of August the 5th to 11, 2019. And that's really all we have time for. See you very soon. Bye-bye.